Hey guys, Vigo Man here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Clipstead. Today we are doing something a little bit different than usual. We're not doing uh, the good old time-lapse building episodes just because I want to mix it up a little bit and some of you guys have been requesting me doing some more building in first person and I know you can see that in live streams and stuff but I know that people don't want to watch a whole live stream so today uh, we're going to be building first person and what we are going to be building is this build right here a small carpenters stools and I think it cut off the rest of the word here uh, but basically what a design cobbler I don't think that's right um yeah, this guy is just going to be like a small carpenter making some stools and barrels and stuff. Pretty sure it was supposed to say barrels. Uh, but also, I just want to show you what I've done in between the episodes here. I've added another building here, which is a chain maker or some kind of blacksmith, I guess, which is making chains. So you can see here, it's like this chain going on the ground like that. Uh, and up here, then I have a small fireplace to heat it up and a small barrel here is kind of create my own little barrel with some um, chains in it and you can also walk up here to the second floor uh, where we have a little bit of an area so that's pretty much it I guess let me go down here I just I was at my parents house just building something for fun we created this building right here all right so uh, today we're going to be building this building here which is a diagonal building so thanks might be crazy today it's it's very hard doing diagonal builds and especially on camera so uh, let's just hope thing goes as planned um this we can just just hope that it it's all right um first off i like to start just finding uh the materials that we can use to to make this build look all right um we can use like this mud brick stuff maybe i don't know I guess we can use that for like the bottom and then uh, we'll use more of these uh, wooden stuff as we go higher up. Um, how does this one look? I guess we can kind of use that as well just to break it up a little bit like that. So let's put that there uh, and then how's this one? That's also very similar. Uh, I think maybe that's better as there's a little bit of a different texture, but it's still very similar uh, color wise uh, And then we have this one which is pretty cool and this one uh, Let's let's try this one as well uh, and then use uh, The bricks and stuff. All right So first off what I like to do is just use the beams and kind of create the shape that I want so just gonna bring it up here um, at least three blocks for each floor so I guess we can go a little bit higher uh, and then we can maybe use a border block so um, a block like uh, let's say this one we can use this one uh, as like a border block in between the blocks uh, like that very nice and then we can do the same here uh, one two three and then one more block which is going to be like the ceiling and the floor between the different stories uh, and then just connect it up like that with this border block uh, and now we need to decide how tall we want this building to be uh, so I think if we maybe bring this one up a little bit more then we have uh, a small um, like a second layer or floor which is a little bit taller than the first like this front part I think maybe that's gonna be pretty alright so uh, let's bring this up like that and then this one like that and I guess we can just uh, fill that in like that and uh, with this border block I guess not here uh, just because we kind of ruined the interior so yeah I'm sorry for the chat being invisible guys, uh, I just need that kind of for some stuff that I want to do for this world and stuff and I don't really have an, a way to hide it yet. 
Uh, and then uh, we're going to use the stone blocks that we have chosen. Just fill it in like that. Uh, and then that way we kind of uh, create like this uh, foundation which is a little bit more strong than uh, just a completely full on uh, wooden building. Uh, I guess we're going to do that here as well. Like that. And then we have like this small divider between the rooms. Uh, we can also like bring it up like that, maybe not. Uh, let's just do that for now. And then in the front here, I think since this is a smaller part, uh, let's just have one row of foundation here. And then we can use this one like that to fill up. I guess, let's put just a border block there as well. Like that. So we have a general shape like that. Um, then we have this block uh was it that one yeah uh we can use that just to to create some contrast here i think that's not too bad so uh let's do that um we're just filling that in like so and then no crap <laughs> uh this one here like so, and then we're doing the same on the other sides as well, like that, and like that. So then we got something going here, and then what I want to do is uh, simply just create the shape for the roof of this building here. To be like that. What if we? Yeah, I think I think this has to be the same uh, gradient as well like the um, be as steep as other one but I think if we um, do something like to just break it up a little bit um, that would work that way we're kind of implementing uh, the shape of Norwegian stave churches into this building which is very nice uh, let's remove the brocks we don't need those uh, so then we have a shape like that. It's looking kind of weird and stuff all right now, but once we kind of get into some more uh, shapes and stuff, uh, I think it will look better. So diagonal roofs are, you know, this is the hardest thing in the game so far, um, and I don't really have a good way of doing it. So let's. Uh, Let's just try, I guess. Um, because the way I've kind of... Uh, the thing I've figured out is that you just have to... You kind of feel your way into this. You, you just kind of have to build something and see how it turned out. Uh, and if it's not incredibly bad, you go over it and try to... To uh, make it better. So we got something like that. And um, maybe... That's a way too much. Um, that is not too bad. Uh, I think for now let's go with that. Uh, and try to see how everything looks once we uh, do the same shape here. Because what I kind of did here was just... This is blocks here in the front and then... Yeah, use the vertical slabs as a gradient. Um, I think we like we could go on and do it like that here. How's that? If we do it like that instead, or maybe a staircase instead, that looks a lot better. Let's use a staircase instead, upside down like that, and then you go and up like that, and I think we can. We can go like that, uh, and then we have a decent shape for the roof, I think. That's not too bad, actually. Probably one of my better diagonal roofs. And then just continue the shape here. So that's another tip, guys. Uh, when you're doing buildings like this, make sure you got all the shapes right before you start adding details. Uh, I see many people go straight to the detailing. And um, the thing is, your details can be on point, but if your building is weird, it's weird like layout wise and the roof is a little bit short and things like that the, the basic shape of the building doesn't really work out 
the whole building will look like crap. So, um, yeah, that's just a small tip. Try to to build the shapes before you do anything else, kind of. And I'm just connecting these up like that. That's a very good shape. I like that. Uh, let's use this uh, great touch uh, because we've been using fairly uh, fairly bright colors so far on this so I think a light colors will make sense as it looks like it's a pretty new building like that and uh, we're gonna mix it up with some different shapes and stuff oh we got forgot over here um, different blocks like stairs and stuff that's very important as well we're just gonna stop with this uh, go there nice and what if I put a stair here instead maybe that also looks a lot better um, like that maybe and then Like that, and then we go to the other side as well. Alright, so now the basic shape of the roof is done. Uh, let's just fill in all of the thatch here. Uh, once again, don't start detailing before you got the general shape up. So, uh, just fill in all of the blocks you need until you get a decent shape, and then you can start doing details and randomization and stuff like that. Uh, it's very important that you m remember not to go ahead and do details in the beginning so We're gonna do something like that uh, and then on this side as well Also guys if you like this kind of videos where it's more of a building talking episode instead of the time lapses I, I will try to maybe implement that more often even though we don't really produce as many buildings in one go as we would done with a time lapse it's easier for me to explain everything and I think it might help you guys um, to to get better in building and stuff um, but for all I know you might guys might be like incredibly talented already and stuff like that and maybe way beyond my my skills uh, but if not maybe this can help you and get better that is weird uh, let's remove that It looks better nice okay so let's um, actually I don't think there's anything we can mix up here uh, except like putting some trapdoors on like that just to break up some of the lines a little bit so just some minor minor vertical slabs like that will really yeah just fix up some of that um, and then what I want to do is first off let me just see what if we use those instead will that will that look better yeah I think so I think it creates a better Better line. Let's do that instead. There you see, like you learn stuff every time you build. Uh, I try to always improve my buildings, take new uh, things to account, and use try to use some new blocks and just make it different from all the other buildings I've already done. So something like that uh, really looks good. And then. Let's just bring in some detailing blocks and start adding some details now. Um, like that. I really like these beams here. It looks super nice. And if we... Uh, we can add some different one of those. To create more contrast. Like that. Um, and then this one maybe just go across like that. And then what I like to do in all... And uh, cross sections, I like to put some trapdoors. Maybe we can do like that here, and like that. Um, put that going up like that, and then 
one like so. Already starting to take shape here. Um, and then you go there. And then why can I not? Okay, yeah, it's probably because I'm inside this here. Yeah, that is always a pain trying to work alongside those. Okay, that works. Um, one of these here again. Like that. Very nice. I think the details are coming uh, coming nicely and uh, starting to look nice here. Um, then I just want to break this building here just to get this block here because this is a beautiful block for uh, windows and stuff so we can use that and then maybe a window up there can work um, and then the floor is here so this will be another one a window there as well and let's just do it on the other side just because it's mirrored and it might look good Yeah, that's all that's not too bad. I like that. Um, and then we need a door here. Um, maybe block like that above the door. Maybe it's not necessary. I don't think it is. Let's just keep it like that. Uh, and then just bring the path into the door. Uh, and then simply just search for doors. There's a lot of doors to choose from. I like some of the simpler wooden ones. And the problem with diagonal buildings is that it's tricky getting the doors to look good. So what I like to do is just pretend that the door always is open. So I just keep it open like this. Um, and then, yeah, that's the only way to kind of make it work on a diagonal building. Um, and then I think we're kind of getting there. Uh, I want to have a small window here as well. There and there. Um, also want to have a door to this backyard area. So the door here. Uh, and then I think maybe a fireplace is needed. Yeah, I guess a fireplace would be very needed here. So uh, it's a cold area. So I try to implement fireplaces in all the buildings I do. Uh, so we can have one like in the corner here all the way in. Somehow, yeah, I'll get to that later once we do the interior. Might do that on camera, I might do that off. Not sure. Um, have some exams or one exam coming up, so I don't really know how much time I have to give to this building right here. But we'll see, we'll see. Don't you worry. Uh, bring that up and then bring the chimney up. So, see what I did here? I, I changed. Um, I changed the blocks I used for um, the chimney and for the normal uh, foundation of the building and that is just to make sure that you can really separate the chimney from the rest of the building and then what you can do is just also add some trapdoors and stuff just to to make it look older I guess less perfect like that um, and then just have some kind of top to this. Uh, I like this polished thing. It's kind of nice. Also, if you make it into one of these, like that, kind of works. That's pretty nice. And then one final touch is just going to be adding some dead bushes here, some growth on the, the roof here. Um, come on now, like that. And no one maybe there yeah that kind of works like that and it looks pretty cool from here I like how the building is turned out so one check I always do is just to walk past if it looks all right want to walk past I think that looks all right uh, maybe we should have some kind of details happening here I'm not sure though um, maybe just some buttons 
just like that. Simple detail, but it just kind of makes it a little bit different. Uh, I think that building is pretty cool, guys. So um, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful and that you learned something today. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will see all of you later. It's been Bigger Man, and I'm out.